Welcome back to the shop guys. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. I did. Um, for those who had a really sharp keen eye, <laughs> the last three videos for some reason the camera decided to flip everything. In the video, for the first one I threw it into the editor and I'm looking at it thinking something is wrong with this picture. And I realized the toolbox is on my right side and the laser on my left side. So it flipped them that way. It didn't mess with the camera. I didn't do any settings. All of a sudden it's just on its own. One comment was left. Somebody's got a real keen eye. Realized the headstock is on this side. So it also flipped the image this way. So hopefully I've got this fixed, figured out what the setting was, but okay, for this uh, showgram video, um, Tom Lipton Ox Tools has a Monday night meatloaf. I'm just going to do, uh, this will be my first Friday night meatloaf. It's just a bunch of little clips that I've had kicking around here time to let them go release them so I hope uh, something in here stimulates somebody's uh, an idea or something so I hope you enjoy see you next uh, Friday I think everybody oh yeah ignore all of this mess I fell down and it ripped me to pieces um, I think everybody saw me my first video playing with these things and the mess that happened um, this was Amazon, and so I decided to make new tools. This is the 4 millimeter, and this is a 5 millimeter. And this guy is kind of cool because originally I just um, drilled a hole all the way through thinking, yeah, that'll keep this nut from spinning, but then I realized you can't pull this this way. So now it's actually slotted inside, so if I loosen this up, you can see I have a lot more movement than that, but okay. So that should be enough, actually. I could slot it more, and I'm probably going to do the same thing to this one. And I was thinking make a 3 millimeter, but I'll put a link to the description, bang good, in the description. Aluminum. These are nice. Nice tray too. You know, everything's organized. That everything's all jammed in there. So uh, these are cool. This will be real easy. I may actually modify it more. Well, I'll probably try this one that doesn't have the slot in it and see if I can completely collapse these guys. I should. That would be these five millimeters. So I'm kind of almost completely set up with this in the shop now. Um, so if our need arises to do something like this, I'll have it. I thought, what the heck, let's just try it with this one. I think I can hold it in my hand, but these are nice. The more I look at them, so uh, Banggood did a great job with these here. Okay, so I want the five millimeter, right? Yeah. Which should be these. And they go on nice, same pocket. Yep, bottoms all the way out. All right, here goes nothing, huh? No, wait a minute, I'm not all the way bottomed out. Ooh, so it's got a different depth to it, but it's still poking out, so that's fine. And slide that back so I can kind of hang on to it. What's it gonna do, huh? Wow. Oh boy, that is hard. Yeah, it's expanding, I think. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Okay. <clears throat> well, at least it's not busting. Yeah, it's buckling. You can see it right there. It just buckled. I'm not sure how far, how much travel I've got in this slot. <laughs> well, that would be good enough, actually, for me. Why is that... Oh, because it's rotating and it's jamming on it. Uh, loosen it up there so I can slide that more to the middle. Oh, what happened? Wow, why is that tough? I don't know. This could probably crush it all the way. 
Ow! Yeah, I can't hold it. It hurts. <laughs> but it's definitely buckling. So this would work perfectly. Ah. Is how much do I have? Uh, that's the bottom. I think I've got more. Oh, I gotta unscrew it. Yeah. I think I had more room than that. Yeah, I had quite a bit more that I could go. So I can make some modifications to this. I'll just show the inside for you guys. Oh, I can just pull it straight out. There it is. So, uh, yeah, you can see I can go quite a bit more. But that that is nice. Aluminum is the way to go. You know, I always said I don't like really working with steel. I like aluminum. So, uh, beautiful. I'm set. I love it. I uh, have the steel if I need it. Anyway, this should work because I didn't do any reliefs down here, uh, even on the four. Let me take the four apart so you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it right there. Before I had made the groove in there for threading, and that was a mistake. So that's about as solid as it's going to get, and I'm sure it's going to be able to do the four millimeters just fine it's got the same because there's a section of it where there isn't threads and I had designed these for the steel ones and the steel ones bottomed all the way out is this going to oh yeah yeah oh it's just a fraction but that's good enough so perfect perfect so I highly recommend the <laughs> Banggood aluminum set all right I think everybody oh, dirt <laughs> I've had this guy, this is the first thing I bought. Well, I owned that before already, but I have used this left and right, and so I'm figuring he's probably getting close to wearing out. Who knows? But I still use it. This guy never comes out unless I need extreme accuracy, and he is on the money. Love this guy, but I've always been looking for a 12 inch. Or, I don't know, another six inch backup, who knows. But Amazon, they said this is like $50 on sale, cheaper. And guess who it is? <laughs> six incher. And some guy did an incredible review of this thing, took pictures left and right, and came up with a huge list of what to check to make sure it's not a knockoff. So, beautiful box. <laughs> It'll never stay in here, but I guess. Ooh, that kind of weird. <laughs> okay, boom. Certificate of inspection. How accurate is it? Uh, external. Oof, boy, nice. And that's got to be millimeters. Oh, this is this is beautiful. Locked out with that. Okay, first thing on his list, the battery should read SR44 in Japan. Okay. I uh, need a magnifying glass. I can't see that, right? Uh-huh. It says, yeah, SR44 and in Japan. So that's the first thing. The caliper should come in a sealed plastic bag. And it is. Completely sealed. Yeah, definitely. All right. So far, so good. Come in a sealed plastic bag, packed with a bit of you know, the paper, uh, integration paper, and yellow tag. Yellow tag, yeah. On the locking knob telling how to install the battery and such. Yep, it sure does. Uh, let's play these calibers. Should read zero. I'm sure this is real, then, if it's gotten that far. All right, put this to the side. Which side? Open it up. Interesting, huh? Oh, this is all millimeters. No, inches are here. Good, okay. Six inches. Uh, I guess you slice it open here. It's Amazon, so if it's a knockoff, I return it. But so far, it appears to be really nice. Kind of wish it wasn't closed. Oh, that's stiff. Is it that? Yeah, that was tightened down a little bit. All right, and they have pictures. The knob's supposed to look like such and such. I mean, this list goes on and on. Your origin, 
origin button should be recessed also what's origin recessed uh oh origin's not recessed is it a knockoff <laughs> no way uh well put the battery in there i guess huh all right so you open this up how do you do it huh battery it doesn't tell you origin one second close to oh well you're supposed to close it i guess and put the battery in and say that's the origin oh this just comes right off good i'm not gonna tear it oh nice all right so that's supposed to just go down there it is yep hopefully i have another sr44 battery uh please so uh, SR or LR? Yes, I got another battery. Hang on. All right. I, yeah, it says you're supposed to put an SR. I've got an LR44, but it fits. Same thing. Um, so on the couch, should read zero zero when zeroed out in the inch mode. Counterfeits read point zero zero zero. No, so this is genuine. Might have a smaller five five digit. I don't know. Wow, that is nice. The locking knob on the top should be the same as the picture. The origin button should be recessed, which it's not really. It's poking up. The inch millimeter is somewhat recessed, unless I broke it. Yeah, the inch millimeter is recessed. Well, I can still get it, but it's on it's flush pretty much so with the top that's interesting wonder whether I should return it or not uh, serial number on the caliper should match serial number on the instructions wherever that is since it's all sent there's the serial number and here's the certificate uh, a 2008 a 2008 one four four three matches all right, so uh, just wanted to kind of share that, and I was going to be playing with this thing. It zeroes out every time nicely. <laughs> no half a thousandth or anything. I should get a gauge. I get. Uh, oh, I've got hang on. Right here, handy. just measure something with the <laughs> I thought I had one of the um, micrometer things all right what does this read uh, go across the middle of it it's reading 400 and exactly 70 thousandths Wow all right so we put this right across the middle 470 thousandths right on the money so this sucker is pretty nice and accurate. It's not even a half thousand off. All right, so I'll be playing with this a lot more off camera. I thought this guy was pretty interesting after playing with it. Um, yeah, something to point with. That uh, Amazon review said this button is supposed to be recessed. But looking at the molding here around the plastic, this button has the same molding it is supposed to be poking out this one is recessed and doesn't have the molding around it so that was one interesting thing to look at i guess they changed the design or something um since the guy did the review on his this is as far as i can tell a genuine mitutoyo found it also interesting that there's an on off um, the Fowler just turns off, times out and turns off. The Mid to Toyo uh, micrometer digital also just times out. There's no on off on it. Um, these edges, yeah, I had, there was a slight film in here. So I thought it was closed and had zeroed it. But when I was checking it on everything, um, gauge blocks and stuff it kept saying it was a half a thou bigger and realized clean this out and sure enough and then redid the origin 
So now it reads zero when it's closed and it's accurate on every one of these guys. This is point one and it shows point one on the money. Um, I did check it to their sheet where they said it was off at four inches. I did put the four inch in there and yeah, it's off a half a thou. But it's right on the money with everything else. Here's a half inch. So, and that's kind of interesting because research a long time ago basically said it didn't matter whose digital you had, they're all only accurate to a thou. But this is spot on to a half a thou. Where it has, yeah, here's 0 0.1005. There it is, <laughs> 0.1005, so amazing. I don't know what luck of the draw or what, but um, the other thing is, boy, these edges everywhere is a real sharp. I'm checking for burrs and there isn't any on anything, and I dare not touch that because you do anything half a thou and you blow the accuracy of this thing. Um, it is a little stiff to move uh, compared to all my other ones, so they probably have these screws tightened down and they're painted red in there, so I bet you that's Loctite or something on them to keep you from messing with them. As I said in that one video, if those get loose, then the jaw starts tilting. And I did check um, measuring down here and measuring back here and I'm getting the exact same reading so the jaws aren't moving like this. Uh, kind of interesting when you put it right on one inch this edge isn't really on the one inch but who cares about that. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the inch millimeter button is recessed so you gotta kinda really work it <laughs> to get it to switch. <laughs> Like I see, I'm pressing pretty darn hard and it's not going. So, come on, go back to inches. There we are. So, all in all, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. And um, especially if I have to, because uh, it's a lot easier to use a caliper than a mic to me. When you're trying to measure something that's in the lay, there's not that much room to get in there. So, that it's nice to have a pair of calipers that are extremely accurate to work with. So that's just my uh, little feedback on this guy. Um, finish is pretty nice on it. It looks, yeah, it looks like everything is well ground on it. Um, except for some of it, like this. It's just got straight lines, like it was lapped or something. The other stuff, I can tell all this is ground. Uh, okay, well, I guess I would recommend it. Just wanted to share this thing here that I made. I always hated using the fly cutter or the face mill because the chips go over there, down on the floor, on the floor in front of me, everywhere. So, um, just clear plastic. It's easily removable. I can move it forward or backwards any place I want. Uh, put it right there so it's on the edge here and the sides I just put tape on it so I can angle or do whatever I want and the reason for that is sometimes I'm coming down and the handles gonna hit if I have to go really low I need to fix this thing this tape keeps coming loose here there tie that up so yeah if I'm gonna hit it you can see right there I'd be hitting it yeah so I can move it slightly out and I can go even lower when necessary. Um, and I do like this chip idea. Somebody had that, I forgot who to see it. Keeps the chips out of there. And I'd really like to come up with something that keeps the chips from going down in there because they go into the hole where this lead screw is and all of a sudden you got to take the vise apart to get them out because they jam up. But uh okay that's clearing clearing nice and i really like the extending rack that i did it gives me a lot more height on this machine this is i can go higher than this another inch but i 
handles hitting up here. I gotta fix that. So, and I really like the leather stuff too, because the leather, the chips don't bounce off of it as much. But just wanted to share this guy because I'm really thrilled with it. I also wanted to quickly share this Alexa. Um, I guess it's the Black Friday or whatever they call it. Um, sales, I got it for $20, incredible. Saves me from ever getting a calculator again. I'm not sure how many people can get an Alexa, whether it's global or not. And you can change the name, so that's why I can say Alexa and nothing happens, but computer, what's 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1? 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. Thank you. Anytime. Yeah, I can have a blast talking to it. Uh, Alexa, play music by America. Or oh, I'm mean, computer. Play music by America. Shuffling songs by America on Amazon Music. Computer, stop. It's great. So, I mean, a lot of things that you have to go to the computer for to figure out, answer. You know, computer, give me pi to a few digits. Sorry, I don't know that. Uh. But I do have a skill you might like. It's called give me a word. Want to try it? No. It did pi a few minutes ago, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, well. But, yeah, I, completely across the shop, I can talk to it. And do whatever it's just if you really pay attention to it and depend upon it it's a great tool just thought i'd show this guy for what it's worth <laughs> like i said i was watching an upcoming machinist youtube channel in the uk saw these guys in the background of his shop lucked out they were local uh, the container store here get them uh, the box says made in the uk i thought that was a kick so they make them over there and ship them here but uh yeah hundred dollars a piece luckily they had two black ones because they have them in all kinds of weird colors let me tell you for the actual labels to find thick material where it doesn't just fall through the bottom i ran um photographic paper thick photo paper through an inkjet manual feed and print out all the labels. I still need to redo a couple of them, but the trays were uh, like, uh, what, $14, $15 each. Picked up four of them. Because I know once if this is a one-time buy at the container store, when they're gone, they're gone. But it gave me a lot more room. I've got, you know, set screws here, um, socket heads. This is all Imperial. I'm going from 256 now all the way up to, what, 3 8 uh, 24. So it gave me a lot of room, hours and hours worth of work making all these labels, cutting little felt pieces to go in the bottom, so that made it real nice. This is all the metric, same thing, sets, cap heads. On the cap heads, I went with um, the cap heads and then washers and nuts, caps, washers and nuts, so... That really organized it and have a lot more room. I need to stock up. A bunch of these are empty. Then, yeah, empty with felt. Another empty with felt. So I had picked up four of them. Um, this guy, Home Depot, had this Ryobi kit. Everything here, you can see it all, for $12. So that started this drawer. Now I moved all these kind of tools together this is that harbor freight set i did a video on but i was really keen on it because these guys are um gunsmithing where it's you know usually a spade has got an angle and you're trying to turn it and it wants to walk itself out these guys are flat so this was the main reason why i picked this set up i don't understand why there's this weird thin spot in them well i wanted this for that and these guys here because i bought one i can't remember where but boy it locks up in my drill it hangs on too much so that's cool all this stuff came together now and then the inserts were in a small drawer maxed out 
got lots of room to grow now. Uh, so they're all over here. And whatever else I want to add to it. Um, this is empty, but these were all in another drawer and just jammed. So I just threw them all in here. The bottom of the drawer is that Harbor Freight rubber mats, toolbox mat stuff, which works out nice. Uh, just threw the rivet nuts in here just to get them off my bench. Don't know what I want to really do with them yet. Then the next two drawers, this is stuff that was in other drawers eating up important space. Things I just don't use, like these are the collets that came with the mini mill. I'm not going to use them. I've got ER32s in there. Spare one, spare nut. So, uh, all these stupid little wrenches you keep getting. And this one too. Just more stuff that I'm not going to use right now. There's the extra laser that I had picked up. So, and these guys absolutely useless in here. The bottoms of them are so crooked that you can't get a good accurate reading. So that's why I showed in a video making my own. So, so that's pretty much so it. Thrilled with these drawers and so glad I picked them up. Mm -hmm.